Hello from Genome Space. In this video step, we will cover pipeline creation in Gene Pattern using an RNA seq analysis example. Launch Gene Pattern from the Genome Space homepage if you haven't already. Hover your cursor over the Modules and Pipelines menu and click on New Pipeline. The pipeline designer should load. A Gene Pattern pipeline is simply a linear sequence of modules with upstream modules feeding their outputs to downstream modules. Use the right-hand panel to give your pipeline a more attractive name, for example, RNA-EXP. To add a module to the pipeline, search or browse for it in the sidebar, just as you would if you were selecting a module for a job. Make your way to the top hat module and click on it to send it to the pipeline designer sandbox. The right-hand panel now lists our top hat parameters, which we must provide or set. Change the top hat version to 7 using the drop-down menu. This will allow us to run a pre-built bowtie index. Select the index UCSC HG19 and check the boxes next to reads pair 1 and reads pair 2 to have the user input the reads when running the pipeline. Scroll down and check the box next to GTF file as well. For library type, select standard Illumina. Notice that the user provided files will now be listed inside the top hat module box, next to a silhouette. Use the search bar to load the Picard Sort SAM module into the designer. Edit the output format parameter and change it to BAM. Next, connect the two modules by clicking and dragging the out arrow at the bottom of the top hat box to the input arrow at the top of the Picard Sort SAM box. The top hat module will now send its output file to the Picard Sort SAM module, which will interpret it as its input file. Use the drop down menu on the Picard Sort SAM box to change the output format to BAM. Our third pipeline component will be the Cufflinks module. Add it in the same way as the other modules. Head to the side panel and check the box next to GTF to make it a user provided file. Connect the Picard Sort SAM output arrow to the Cufflinks input file arrow. Cufflinks can provide many possible outputs, but we want the genes.fpkm tracking file. Set it in the drop down menu. Add the final module, FPKM tracking to GCT. Connect the cufflinks output to the input for our newest module. Our pipeline is complete. Click the Save button to save the pipeline and, in this case, ignore the warnings that pop up. Click Run Pipeline to see your new pipeline's run page. 